Okay, I'm late, but I still got them. Today, we're gonna look at the Medium Olive Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low OG. And I'm gonna give you guys all my impressions on the sneaker, the past releases of the other Air Jordan 1 Lows, what we have set for the future, other people's opinions, and what I think about these Travis Scott collaborations. Is it starting to get washed up? So looking at the box, we have a trend. The Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low OGs have been coming with this type of box, the tan with the brown, and it's been a little bit more consistent with the releases, besides the Fragment collaboration and the original release, and things like that but people are starting to get used to seeing this box and knowing what comes inside on the size tag it reads air jordan 1 low og sp medium olive black cell muslin size 13 just for me and shout out to the homies over at hearth i ended up grabbing these late but they had a really good price at the store and i couldn't pass it up so i'm glad to finally be adding these to my collection and i have a couple pairs i'm still missing from the travis one low set but i'll eventually get them now taking off the lid of the box right here you have your classic air jordan travis scott nike air branded paper pink with the brown hits the cactus jack and then you have your additional set of white paper and then you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. Now, before I get into breaking down all the details, styles, cuts, and materials of the sneaker, you know we gotta talk about the history first. Back in 2017, we saw the Cactus Jack Air Force Ones, and then shortly after that, we saw the Travis Scott Cactus Jack Oilers Air Jordan 4. During this time, Travis Scott was now coming on the scene with his collaborations with Jordan Brand and Nike. There was a ton of hype after we saw the purple and the brown fours. Next thing you know, everybody got the blue fours. And from that point on, it was essentially history. And we had originally thought there was only gonna be one pair of one lows and one pair of one highs. And maybe they would consider doing other models, but they've been rinsing and repeating a ton when it comes to the OG one low. You had the original mocha low, you had the reverse mocha low, you got the black phantoms, you got the canaries, you got the olives, you got the medium olives, you got the white parties, which didn't come out to the public, and you got the fragment Travis low. They even did a pair of golf one lows. And now you have the medium olive Air Jordan one lows that just hit the scenes a couple months ago. We're set to see a brown pair coming out early in 2025 and who knows what other color iterations they might release in that next year or the years to come initially the hype was somewhat solid i would say resale prices didn't reflect that and it wasn't crazy insane for the sneakers and then the prices started to get insane we started to see over a thousand dollars a pair of shoes for each and every release and then people started to finally settle into it and realize hey i don't need all these or i only like these specific colorways and finally the prices became more realistic and now with this colorway which i honestly think is a really good colorway you can get these for around 400 to 500 bucks depending on the market and even lower if you know some people i'm excited to partner with today's video sponsor DuckDuckGo. It's a three-in-one subscription service, including a VPN that helps protect your personal info and being exploited from hackers, scammers, and privacy invasive companies. I trust Privacy Pro as I've been using them for a while and the DuckDuckGo brand as a whole because their browser has a ton of five-star reviews. DuckDuckGo VPN is easy to set up with just one click and it secures your Wi-Fi connection anytime, anywhere, which gives you an extra layer of protection when traveling, gaming, shopping, browsing. Best part is it hides your IP address and location from sites you visit. If you you try searching yourself online you'll find your name email address all these random things kind of weird privacy pro helps you find and remove that information for up to 50 different data broker websites privacy pro also provides identity theft restoration i've had this happen to a handful of friends and heard their stories over the years so i had to make sure i had a service that could help restore my identity if mine got stolen and that i could call on 24 7 if needed they actually help you fix your credit report mistakes as well try the privacy pro for free for seven days then pay 9.99 per month to sign up or an annual subscription of $99.99 and save 16% off, which is essentially two months for free over the course of a year. Again, I've been using DuckDuckGo Privacy Pro for a while now, so make sure you hit the link down below in the description. And I'll also have the link pinned in the comment section for you guys as well. Now let's get back to the video. So now that you guys know a little bit of history about the shoe and kind of how we got to this point today with this model, let's go ahead and go over all the details and I'll give you guys my opinion. Looking at the class O, you got your modern day Air Jordan 1 OG bottom, and this is gonna be covered in your medium olive. Now wrapping up to the midsole this is going to be covered in a cell rubber with a cell stitch and then to the upper you're going to have a mixture of i would say three different materials you're going to have a smooth off-white leather here around the toe the eye stay area and the back end around the heel and the tab and then you're going to have more of a tumbled premium black leather here on the reverse swoosh and the same thing here on the inside of the swoosh and this is one piece that i really love about the travis scott lows in particular they do a really good job when it comes to the shape of the shoe giving you more of that og cut and especially with this large swoosh on the inside all these new air jordan one lows that have been 
been coming out over the past few years, they have been lacking when it comes to the shape of the shoe, but we'll take what we can get. Now you're gonna have that thin medium olive suede right here on the vamp on the top end, and then that same material right here on the inside of the mid panel. Another dope touch that I love on the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1, sometimes it's faint, sometimes it's bold, this time it's a little bit more bold. You're gonna have that red cactus jack right here sitting behind the swoosh. Now speaking of shape and cuts and everything as well, these come with eight lace holes and additional laces. So you have a premium pair of white wax laces, an additional pair of pink wax laces, and a third pair of black wax laces. Now I've seen this shoe laced up with all three types of laces on the internet. And honestly, I would say either the pink or the white in my opinion, probably looks the best. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Now behind the lace area, you're gonna have that medium olive mesh tongue, and you're gonna have a white tab with red Nike Air text. And then standard to the Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott high and low, you have that additional tab right here on the side of the foot, and that says Cactus Jack right here on both of the shoes. Now this shoe comes with a medium olive collar, and you're gonna have a black sock liner with Travis Scott spelled backwards on the right foot, and a black sock liner with a red Jumpman in the heel, and white Cactus Jack branding on the left foot. Now when it comes to the heel of these two shoes, another standard hit you're gonna have your Travis Scott cactus jack face here on one foot and then your Air Jordan wings logo branding here stitched on the other I love how they didn't stamp this in or use like a heat press or a vinyl or anything like that they actually went with their embroidery and I think another premium touch and a reason why a lot of people like these collaborations but I'm very interested to see what everybody else thinks on the internet so I posted a poll on my Instagram story to see what they said whether the shoe was fire or trash and this is what they said 89% of the people chose fire and 11 percent of the people chose trash honestly i feel like that was pretty high because i feel like originally when the shoe came out or was about to come out people weren't really like hyping it up crazy i think it was kind of more like a situation where like the people that wanted the shoe got the shoe and they didn't have to worry about paying some crazy astronomical number and they could still enjoy the sneaker so maybe that's kind of where it lies in this situation in particular but i don't know i just feel like there wasn't some crazy aura around this shoe during the time which caused me to kind of slack on the release as well which i was also busy there was a ton of traveling going on and i just kind of forgot about the release but i ended up still getting the shoe shout out to hearts now when it comes to these ranked against all the other Air Jordan 1 Travis Scotts. You guys saw I've done a video in the past, which I need to make an updated version because that one was great. Everybody loved it. My dad's opinions, my wife's opinions. That was great. We definitely have to remake that video. Once this new brown pair comes out, I think I'm gonna redo it again. I think this one falls in the top middle of the bunch, if that makes sense. I think there's definitely some dope colorways ahead of it, but I don't think it's one of the worst ones. The reverse mochas I will put below these. The golfs I will put below these. The Canaries, I think those might be kind of right there. The Black Phantoms have really grown on me. I wear those literally damn near every day. So they're ranking higher because of that. But I think overall, like that's a lot more simple shoe, easy to wear type thing with literally everything. I don't know. I would just say I would put these in the middle of the bunch when it comes to all the Travis One lows. Let me know down below in the comment section, what would you guys rank this shoe amongst all the other ones that have released so far? So that's an in-depth look at this sneaker. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, I have a ton of other curated playlists specifically for reviews on my channel. So make sure you guys go check that out after this one. I have other reviews of other Travis One lows as well from the past. And if you guys have any other suggestions or recommendations or requests, please send me comments down below in the comment section so I can get to them and make more videos. I appreciate you guys as always. I'm excited to rock these and stay tuned. I'll probably be posting these on my TikTok talk sometime soon with the outfit video i would never let you down yo if you made it to the end of this video i want to take your collection to the next level i built a full community with private meetups with me so if you want to be a part of that and get early access or behind the scene looks on how i run my businesses it's definitely going to be a place where i can help you scale your collection and potentially start investing in other things outside of sneakers like real estate so hit the link down below in the description and get signed up and i'll see you guys on the inside that's in my dna hey, the hey, only pop. choice i like to make what i'm aware of one of one i would never let you down us in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it It's in the DNA